Welcome to this session on getting the most out of all access. This session covers how to install two of the possible Mac clients. To get started, from the main college website, go to the current student section and select all access. From the all access website in the installation section, you can see the instructions for setting up either of the two different clients. I prefer the second one, but we'll go over both as the first one is a bit easier to install. To install the first client, log into the All Access site using your MyPage username and password. The system will determine if you have the client installed. If you don't, click on the Install button. At this point, you will download the installation file. Once it's downloaded, click on that DMG file to open up the installation window. Click on the install link that then comes up. Now click on continue here a couple times and then agree to the license agreement. Now select the hard disk on your computer and click continue. Click install to start the installation. You will then be asked for your local username and password. Now when finished, click on close and then go ahead and close out any additional windows. Now you're presented with a list of applications available to you that you can launch. We cover some ways that you can maximize this process in some of the other online sessions. There's also a settings section here where you can customize your experience. You have options on what to do with disconnected sessions when you log on. You've also got options on how you want your windows displayed when you start applications. That pretty much covers setting up the first client. Now let's cover installing the newer Citrix client from the Citrix website. In the installation instructions, go to the second section in the document. Here there's a link to the Citrix website where you can download the current client. Click on the link here for Mac OS X. Listed here are the client requirements. You can see that the current requ version requires OS 10.6 or 10.7, which is Snow Leopard or Lion. Next, you can click on Download here. You have an option for a download manager, but I typically have had better luck with the manual download. Once the file is downloaded, click on the DMG file to open up this disk image. Now click on the icon to install the Citrix receiver. Click on continue here a few times. and then click on Agree to accept the license agreement. Then click Install. It will likely prompt you for your local username and password. Then close out any open windows. Now we want to go back to the installation instructions on the All Access website. About halfway down the page, there's an auto configuration link that will set up the new client. A little lower on that page, you'll also see the manual settings for the client as well if you want to set it up that way. However, we'll go ahead and click on that auto configuration link. 
You'll then get a notice about adding the All Access Store. Click Continue here and you'll get a prompt to log in. To log on, use the formats listed here. Students will type student I with a backslash in their username. Staff will type SLCCI with a backslash and then their username. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my test student account and then click connect. You should now be presented with a list of applications that are available to you. Here's the really nice part about this client. You can pick or favorite which applications you use on a regular basis. For example here, we'll go ahead and add a few th applications like Excel, OneNote, PowerPoint, then Publisher, and we'll do Word. I'll also add My File Explorer, which can be really helpful for accessing your files. After adding your favorites, you can then come up to the application section to see the f apps that you've favorited. Now we're going to go ahead and close all open windows and I'll show you how you can get back to the receiver. Click on the Applications folder and you'll see the Citrix Receiver icon. You can drag that down to the dock if you'd like. Now you can launch this and start the Citrix Receiver. So now let's talk a little bit about troubleshooting client installation. We've seen with some browsers when you download the Citrix Receiver installation, the DMG extension gets renamed. To rename the downloaded file, select to get info on the file. Then, go under the name and extension area and rename it to have the .dmg extension like you see here. In summary, here's a list of some of the common issues we've seen with installing the client. If you have any problems that these tips don't help solve, feel free to contact the SLCC Technology Help Desk at 801-957-5555. Thanks for watching.